Welcome to Lyons Township High School AP Physics. Uh, got a, a, a fairly quick example today of uh, using vectors to determine uh, the direction you want to point a plane. So here's the goal. The plane is going to travel at 200 miles per hour relative to the air. That's what we call the airspeed of the plane. We're going to have a wind though, and the wind is going to uh, be going northeast. And our goal is for the pilot to point the plane such that the plane will actually go due east. And then we'll ask uh, what direction that has to be and also how long it'll take that pilot to go exactly 800 miles due east. So uh, some data for us. Uh, the velocity of the plane with respect to the air is 200 miles per hour. Now we don't know which way he's going to have to point yet. The velocity of the air with respect to the ground, otherwise known as the wind, is going to be 90 miles per hour at 30 degrees north of east. Okay? And um, again, we want to know which way does the pilot have to point his plane? What, what will the pilot's compass say in order for that plane to actually go due east? And how long will it take that pilot to get 800 miles due east? So right now, if the pilot just pointed his plane due east, that would be that, okay? And then you'd have the wind blowing on him. So if you add the velocity of the plane with respect to the air, plus the velocity of the air with respect to the ground, you'll get the velocity of the plane with respect to the ground, otherwise known as his ground speed. So if you add the velocity of the air, like such, okay, the pilot would go like that. Uh, his ground speed or his ground velocity would not be due east. So um, the pilot's got to correct, okay? So instead of pointing his plane due east, he's going to have to face it a little bit south, okay? And um, we're going to figure out like how, what angle south he's got to point it. So more or less, this whole picture is going to kind of rotate clockwise. And we're going to draw this picture big. So if you're taking notes on this, you want to draw a nice big vector diagram because we're going to write all over it with all kinds of numbers. So I'm going to draw this line moving a little bit southward or directed a little bit southward. So having said that, okay, so the pilot is going to face this way somewhat. And we know that that is 200. That's the velocity of the plane with respect to the air, okay, in miles per hour. We also have a wind blowing like that. And that's 90 miles per hour, and that's the velocity of the air with respect to the ground. I want those two vectors to add up such that the pilot's velocity relative to the ground is due east. Okay, that's what we want, the, that's the velocity of the plane with respect to the ground. All right, so the angle we need to find is this one right here. Which way does that pilot have to point his plane such that the plane will actually scoot due east, okay? Um, what we're going to end up doing is breaking this down into this larger triangle into a couple of smaller ones. Uh, a quick note, by the way, this is not a right angle, so we're going to break this thing down. We're going to have two right triangles, okay? The first one I'm going to deal with is the air, okay, the airspeed. Well, that one's pretty easy. I'll kind of I'm going to resketch that up here. Okay, so there's the airspeed. We want to find the velocity of the air in the horizontal direction and the vertical direction. In other words, east and north. And we're given that this angle here is 30 degrees, and we're given that this is 90. So finding the two legs of that triangle is pretty easy. This, the eastward leg would be 90 cosine of 30 which if you do that in your calculator, and you can double check and make sure this is working, is 77.9. And this northward component will be 90 sine of 30, and hopefully you don't need a calculator for that. That's going to be 45 miles per hour. I'm now going to transfer those down to here. The vertical one is 45, so that's this one here. So this one here is 45. The horizontal one is your 77.9, that's this right here, 77.9. Now, really, what we found, this is actually this, 
but that's going to equal that. So I'm going to just drop, put that number up there. It's going to make, make, our, make it a lot easier on ourselves. All right, so now um, if you look at this triangle, that's the velocity of the plane with respect to the air triangle. Well, we can find everything else in that triangle. We have two legs, and um, it's a right triangle, so we know that angle. So for instance, I can find the leg that goes from here to there. I'm just gonna, you can just use Pythagorean's theorem. Hypotenuse squared, so 200 squared, equals 45 squared plus that leg squared. Um, if you try that out in your calculator, what you're going to find is this leg here is 194.9. 194.9, okay? To find this angle, it's very simple. Um, we got a right triangle. I know this is an exact value and this is an exact value, so I'm going to use my two exact values. I got the hypotenuse and the opposite leg of that triangle. That's going to be sine. So the angle the pilot has to put, uh, point their plane at is the inverse sine of opposite over hypotenuse, 45 over 200. If you do that in the calculator and you can double check this, you get 13.0 degrees and he's got to point his plane south of east. Okay, so the pilot, his, that compass in that plane would actually say 13 degrees south of east. If that pilot points that plane 13 degrees south of east, it'll actually scoot due east, okay? Now, how long would it take them to go 800 miles due east? So we know our delta x is 800 miles, okay? So we need vx. If we know delta x and we know vx, then we got time. Well, vx is simply the addition of this thing, which is 194.9, plus the wind, which is 77.9. Um, so if you, for Vx would be 194.9 plus 77.9, which is going to ground to 273 miles per hour. Okay, so that's just Vx. You know delta x. We know that delta x equals Vxt. Delta x is 800. Vx is 273 times time. If you solve for time, you're going to get, uh, I got in my calculator 2.93 hours, which equates to 2 hours and 56 minutes. So that's how long that pilot will take to fly 800 miles due east. So again, a couple quick notes. You definitely want to draw the vector triangle out nice and big. You want to label everything on that triangle that you can. And a little bit of geometry here. Um, you have to figure out like what your angles are, what your, your legs of the specific right triangles are. So I, I hope that was helpful, and uh, thank you very much.